Taiwan could teach the world about religious harmony. I think Taiwan could be a role model for other countries in terms of religious harmony. In Taiwan, many different religious groups live together harmoniously. Every time I walk around Ta'an Park, I am so happy to see all the different churches and temples close together without any problems. For example, the Catholic Church on Xinxiang Nan Road is next to the Grand Mosque. On Tong An Street, there is a Taoist temple which shares a wall with a Christian church. Although two-thirds of Taiwanese people identify themselves as either Buddhists or Taoists, or a mix of the two, we have only elected one president who shares these beliefs. Most of Taiwan's presidents have come from backgrounds different from the majority. This has never happened in America, to my knowledge. Americans seem to demand that their presidents belong to the majority religious group. I also found it interesting that Buddhist monk Xing Yun encouraged Ma Yingzhou, a Catholic, to run for the presidency. This shows that Taiwanese people are very tolerant and respectful of different religious beliefs. People of Taiwan have freedom to assemble and worship, and religious people tend to do good things when they come together. Ziji, a Buddhist disaster relief group, has built schools and provided aid to people in need. The Catholic Church has also built many schools and hospitals around the world. Not every country allows foreign missionaries. However, Taiwan has always been very kind and generous to foreign missionaries. Perhaps because two famous ones, Dr. Mackay and Doris Bruham, have done a lot for Taiwanese society. Regarding diversity, I have one friend who is a Buddhist, yet her father is a Catholic, and her mother is a Taoist, yet they all live together harmoniously in one house. I think the greatest representation of religious harmony in Taiwan is the 50 or more year friendship between Xing Yun, a Buddhist monk, and Cardinal Shan Guoxi. They are both refugees from China who, came, who became good friends in Taiwan and have helped each other on their religious missions. To summarize, there are five things which I think illustrate religious tolerance in Taiwan. One, the proximity of the houses of worship. Two, the diversity of Taiwan's religious leaders' beliefs. Three, the freedom to assemble in public and private. Four, Taiwan's acceptance of foreign missionaries, and five, religious diversity in the family. The world would be much happier and more peaceful if there were no fighting over religious matters. I think Taiwanese people could show others how to live together peacefully. Questions What is Eddie talking about? Which two famous religious leaders are friends? Do you think Taiwan can teach other countries about religious harmony? Why or why not? Name two things that illustrate religious harmony in Taiwan.